Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, booty booties. <laughs> so, you guys, hope you're having a great day. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in. I will be honest, just in advance. This will be the first video that comes out for today, but it's going to be a busy day, you guys. I know it's an off day for Amberlynn uploads, but we have a lot of other ones in store. So keep your eye out. There's going to be some fun things posted all throughout today. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. So this mukbang, steak and cheese and meat, blah, 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 something, something. It's her, you know, just doing the usual flobber bobber, if I have to specify that for you guys. <laughs> this is a longer video, so I don't want to waste too, too much time, guys. Let's just dive right on in, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> well, hello, guys. Hel hey, foodie. Why does this look like two separate sandwiches, girl? Also, like, unironically, I had Subway today didn't even think about her <laughs> but okay i guess we're on the same uh wavelength just food wise ew ew ow <laughs> hello all right just sat down for tonight's tea <laughs> um no for my dinner i guess you can say i was gonna cook but i didn't feel like it so tomorrow i will make whatever i was gonna make you'll have to wait and see but for now um we're having sub stop. Oh, she went live. Trust and believe that. I got a video for that too, y'all. It's not Subway, it's sub stop. Sub stop. Okay. We have a red fruits iced tea, zero sugar. Steak and cheese, sub. And a meat feast. Why, why the two completely separate subs, girl, huh? Did you make Salah give half of his to you? Sub. Some barbecue, summer barbecue chips, hot peppers, and chocolate chip cookies. Oh, and... Chocolate chip cookies. Have a few olives as well. Good grief, girl. These big purple ones. All right. Purple? That's what they call those? I would say that's black. Bismillah. Let's get into it. What am I gonna eat first? I wanna eat the steak and cheese first. I'm sure you do, girl. So let's, let's go. This is a long one too, you guys, like 30 minutes. So, ugh. Steak. Oh, and the sandwiches are horrible too. The noises, ugh. And cheese, what did I put on? It's on Italian uh, oregano bread, Parmesan oregano bread. Cheese, um, jalapenos, black olive, Southwest, garlic mayo, ranch, onions, Lettuce, jalapenos. Did I say that? And I think that's it. Yeah, go. We're just running in circles. Green pepper. Beauty bite for you guys. Yeah, thanks. Ew. Sliding her dirty fingers in it. Mm. By the way, no mic today. Oh, thank God. I'm too lazy to go get it. <laughs> go figure, girl. In your what? Two bedroom apartment? Oh, good grief. That's not giving crap, but two bedroom apartment is very nice. But like, girl, you can't eat, you don't even have stairs in that apartment. Like my Lord. So you guys are lucky. Oh, are we? Oh, for the no mic, yeah, absolutely. Random little story. I always had memories growing up of um, my grandfather, my no-no on the Italian side of the family. Um, he would always pit Kalamata olives like, he did it for someone, um, but he always just sat there with a big bucket in front of him, pitting them. And I always hated them growing up, the taste, but now, like, I'm all right. Ow. Kettle chips are hard. Well, yeah, when your teeth are brittle. You know. mm. I'm sorry, but they hurt the roof of your mouth. Pleasure with the pain. Girl, what are we doing? There's roast beef on here. I don't like deli roast beef, normally. We'll see, I didn't realize. Well then, why, girl, you need to read what you're ordering, what the hell? I hate roast beef too, though. There was one time I was feeling adventurous, we had like a Subway bar kind of sandwich bar thing at my school growing up, 
like there was the hot meal, there was the salad bar, there was the a la carte items, then there was the salad, soup, and like pizza area. One time I was like, you know what, I'm going to get the roast beef, I'm feeling adventurous, I want to try something. I took one bite and I nearly threw up, you guys. It's literally just blood. It just tastes like blood. Ugh. On the chips. In the description of the sub, it doesn't say what kind of meats. It just says meat feast, a mix of meats. I'm having a piece of cookie. <laughs> well, I figured you would eat some, girl. It's sitting right there staring at you in your moon face. Mm, so soft and chewy. You know, most people save the cookie for the end of the meal, but I guess not. Also, those are big. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. I was just thinking, like, oh, and I know I just did a sub stop mukbang, but I love this place. I'm not going to necessarily give her crap for getting sandwiches multiple days in a row. Maybe for eating multiple foot-long sandwiches multiple days in a row, but whatever. Except for the bread. It's on the healthier side of things that she's eaten lately. I was just thinking how weird it is. That what I'm doing now is like a day at the office for me. This is my coming to work. It's a little ridiculous, girl. It really is. I mean, I'm one to talk. I'm sitting here watching her do it, and that's me going to the office, I guess, in foodie's terms. But I don't know. I don't know. Something tells me she's not very grateful for the fact that she can come on and just stuff her face and even get more than a dollar for it. That's what kind of throws me off. And then she spits in the face of everyone that sends her money and whatnot. It made me think of what a typical day at work was like for me. I bet it was hell, girl. Although, I mean, she weighed a lot less when she was working, didn't she? At my most latest job. Which was how long ago, girl? I should say my most recent job. I've told you guys what it was. I told you guys why I got let go. But I don't think I told you what like a typical day at work was like. I wonder what your old co-workers would think of you now, girl. So a typical day. Even without the microphone, dude, the noises are still absolutely disgusting. I would go into the office at like, I think it was like 7, 7 to 3. Jeez. I hated working from 7 o'clock. I mean, like, usually if you start at 7, you're usually out by like 3, 3.30 or so. So like, that was nice. You still have a decent amount of the rest of your day. But, ugh, you're just so tired. <laughs> Which I really, really, really hated. I'm not a day person, but especially not seven. But I was an admin assistant. I was a secretary. I believe it. For a group of doctors, for three doctors, but specifically for one in particular. How ironic. She worked for doctors, and yet she's one of the most unhealthy people I've ever seen in my life. And uh, those are the hours she wanted me to work. I worked in a hospital. That's really hard for me to believe. A mental health facility, hospital. <laughs> That's even more ironic. My lord, girl. I'm surprised that they didn't 5150 you on a lunch break. And um, there was always morning traffic. Well, I imagine. There was one period where I used to have to drive my mom into work and then drive back to my place of work and then after work drive to her work pick her up and go back oh lordy those were busy days i was taking my adderall <laughs> regularly then especially in audible <laughs> around that time so for my commute i used to listen to a morning show on the radio oh she's got multiple cookies there of course she does if i had time i would get a coffee would you listen to Chantal in the morning? That's actually like a radio person. I think like maybe 92.9 or something like that. I'm not sure. Sometimes breakfast. Oh, sometimes, girl. I'm sure you were hitting up those drive throughs But usually I would get to work and I would park my car in the parking lot. Then I had to walk around to the front of the building. Sometimes I would see another secretary that worked there. And she wasn't liked by any of the other secretaries. Oh, so you guys could relate? Because she was not like them. She wasn't like a gossip head, you know? And she's... You know what I've come to find out? Not everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people that work in hospitals and, like, healthcare and whatnot? Shady. Shady. 
there's a reason why there's like a stereotype that a lot of the mean girls from high school went on to become nurses. Smoke her mind. So I would see her out front, usually smoking. Oh uh, yeah. But I smoked back then. Well, you still smoke, girl. You still smoke. So I would have a smoke with her and we would shit talk the other secretary. So they're different. We don't like to shit talk you guys. We're not petty and drama filled like that. But let's, you know what? Let's go and talk shit about all those people that talk shit. We're so much better than them. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> they didn't like y'all. Let's try this. Girl. Mmm. That's good. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, black olives, olive oil, vinegar, a Southwest sauce. I think onions too. Really think? Ooh. And then some of the patients would talk to us because they didn't have an another designated smoking area. We had to smoke with the patients. <laughs> and it's a mental health facility. My God, I bet that was some interesting times. I don't want to eat the, ooh, the seeds. I'm spicy. So then <clears throat> we would go upstairs. All day you would hear codes going off on the intercom. Code white, inpatient north, blah, blah, blah. Code white was psychiatric emergency. Code blue was like medical, I think. I'm surprised Chantal has never been involuntarily committed. Code red is fire. So they had a little tuck shop. What the hell is a tuck shop? <laughs> Not a tuck shop, like a little coffee stand thing run by volunteers. <laughs> It's just some lingo I don't get, I guess. Is that where your grandma worked? Mm. I would get like a, a coffee. I always got a Colombian and a big muffin. Mm. Then I would make my way to my office. Y'all, we're only like halfway through this. Oh my freaking God. And I was so proud because I had my own office and outside of the door. Her own office. It was probably like a cubicle area. There was a metal plaque sign that said Chantal Sato. <laughs> she felt so important. Well, look, girl, it only took you, what, six or eight years to get your own plaque again. There you go. <laughs> she just keeps them on All deck, right. huh? I have my own office. It's ironic. I worked in mental health because my mental health was at the time. But so were many of the secretaries. And actually, one of the secretaries was a patient there a couple of times. I would go in my office, sit at my desk. First thing I would do is check my emails which I always had a ton of emails. Well, as a secretary girl, yeah, I imagine. Sorry, y'all, this is just so freaking boring. And honestly, with for someone with ADHD, it's really hard for me to remember what she's even talking about sometimes, you know? Because she says not even a full sentence, just a few words, takes a bite, choose for like a minute and a half by the time that time's over i've forgotten what she was talking about oh my gosh open up the doctor's calendar for the day get her patient charts ready sometimes i had to book so i'd reply to emails because i get emails from different departments she's making it sound like it's a crazy like thing like this is how secretaries work girl i imagine yes you do have to intercommunicate with other departments i would have to gather all her i don't know i've never been a secretary but i was an intern my freshman year of college for a fashion designer so i got used to like making phone calls doing you know the basic secretary like stuff that lady was a nightmare to work for my god i worked for her for six months and on my second to last day she called me by the wrong name. I was like, you bitch. <laughs> there was only three of us that worked there. So like, there's no way she didn't know my name. Billing, submit it to finance. If there was a meeting, I would have to take the laptop, take minutes, so messy. <laughs> yeah, you are girl. Set up teleconference, order catering for meetings. <laughs> Yeah, I bet that was your favorite part, huh? I usually went with Epicuria in Ottawa. I think that's the name of it. It just depended what day of the week. But we usually had a team meeting in the mornings to discuss what beds were available, when beds were coming available for the inpatient section. They should have kept one open for you, girl. Because it was always a crisis for to have beds. People waiting, overcrowding hospitals, 
because they they needed to be transferred to our hospital but there's no room that's so sad that's really so sad i mean i don't know what the case is up in canada but in america like we used to have so many mental health institutions and granted they were horrible absolutely horrible it's because they were ran by the church but like i don't know dude if there could have just been like reform instead of just closing them all down just imagine like what society could possibly be like then i don't know because there really is such a mental health crisis in this country and it i'm not saying that like oh we need to ship these people off somewhere but there needs to be more facilities that are able to handle a multitude of different types of uh mental health issues you know what i'm saying and we just don't have that your best option is to go to rehab or you know like a retreat type of thing which is very very expensive and most insurances won't cover that or you go to the hospital which can be very traumatizing not gonna lie and most of the time they're full so mostly the patients would come i would you know get them checked in the system I think the system was called Meditech, if, I'm, if I remember. Okay, girl, why are you giving people things, like, bits of information that they can go look up? <laughs> and then I had another part of my job that was, I found a bit difficult, like, I was program administrator for, like, the student, like, the intern doctors. The student doctors in, like, their last year. I don't remember exactly what I had to do, but I had to keep track of, like, I had to do admin work for their... They had a system they used through the University of Ottawa in the Department of Medicine. So I had to keep track of like, I think hours that they did with the doctors that they were shadowing on our, in our department and stuff like that. Girl, this is so freaking boring. Oh my God. You know what, Chantal, just go back to eating and barely speaking, okay? Please, just go back to that. Cause this taking a bite, chewing, and then saying two words and repeating, it's so freaking annoying. Oh my God, this is draining me so much more than just like her sitting here slobbing away. So I had to use like a system that was through the University of Ottawa. I remember it being like a, a, a tough learning curve. I bet. That part of it. I'm not good with technology, so yeah. <laughs> the four hour unit, I wasn't the program administrator. They're, they hired someone new for that. And her, they wanted me as a secretary level three to do the annual report. I knew nothing about the department. And like, they wanted me to do like, her and I to do like pie charts with statistics. And I'm just like, what the heck? Like, did I learn? Like, She's definitely like, that's way too much work for me. Resume or something? Like, I don't know. So. I mean, probably. I actually, like, did say that I knew how to use Excel. And the thing is, before this job, I never used Excel. But I had to be tested on Excel before I got the job, and I just managed to just use common sense, and it, I just managed to figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> like, I passed. I think I watched, like, a 10-minute tutorial video, and then I was <laughs> able to do it. And then I did have to use Excel, like, every day. Keep so, yeah, the doctor would go on, like vacation like not vacations but like work business trips all the time so she would give me her flight like i had to book flights for her hotels she would give me the receipts and i had to send them to finance for billing problem was i had big shoes to fill because the reason they were looking for a new secretary for this doctor her personal secretary which the position i was filling had just retired after 25 years of working with her oh lord she knew everything the doctor liked. She had knew the job very well. I guarantee you that lady did not like Chantal. Well, that lady, that doctor. When you're working with someone for 25 years, you know, and her and I just didn't get along very well. So. Shocker. Shocker. Dude, how do you work for someone and you don't get along well with them? Like... I might have crap to say about that designer lady, but we at least still worked well together, relatively. We never argued anything like that. I might have been annoyed with her a lot, but like, it was never bad. Um, I think she just expected too much of me, um, right off- Oh, girl. Ugh. Professional responsibilities are expecting too much. That, she didn't seem to like me, I don't know why. 
And so I thought, okay, you know, <clears throat> I tried my best. Well, I mean, she is a health physician and having someone working for her that isn't necessarily a great image of health, you know? And I mean, you can be healthy at a larger size. Absolutely. That's not Chantal. <laughs> But eventually it began it's to... It's not the argument being made here. <laughs> ...wear on my mental health even more to where I d wasn't even motivated to come in. I would call in sick a lot. Yada, yada. Bro, with that many responsibilities and you would be calling in sick? Well, they must have had multiple people then because there's no way that would fly. So, anyway, it ended up being that I ended up getting canned. But um, it was like wrongful canning. So I ended up getting a settlement, pretty decent settlement. Of course she sued. Of course she did. My God, girl, what what would wrongful termination for Chantal be? And unemployment. So, and then that's when I decided to try YouTube out. I didn't even expect to make any money just for fun, I guess. I wanted to do makeup. Well, and uh, enjoying the free ride. You know, I had to sign a paper that I wasn't allowed to talk to the media about what what, what happened, but Jeez. they basically in my dismissal paper said that I was let go because I was leaving work early, which is total bull crap because I always, I was, I was salaried. So I worked late every day almost because I was having trouble keeping- I don't believe that girl. I bet you were leaving early, please. Keeping up with some of the emails and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, it's quiet. There's not anyone that's gonna bother me with more work today. I can stay a bit later and finish some. And they just, they lied. They completely lied. I could understand if- I don't believe that, girl. I really, really don't, sorry. They were like, it's not a good fit. Um, well, true. You're not able to do certain tasks like that annual report stuff like that well true okay so where are they so like out of line <laughs> um or if i was calling in sick too much but like to say that i was leaving early is just complete bs you know i believe so that. yeah it was unionized so that i'm so happy it was unionized because the union was the one who who fought for me to get a settlement because they were like you know um I don't know. It was just, yeah, <laughs> it was a mess. But How do you not know? And it's a full on legal battle that you had, girl. What? Something seems fishy here. It was a decent job. It paid very well. I was making like $29 an hour when I left around that. It came out to like 29 an hour, something like that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I made good freaking money as a server. It was, it's kind of sad. Like, I was able to make full-time money off of only working, like, three or four hours a day. I would go in for just a dinner shift or a lunch shift, and I'd be out. Like, it was really nice. It really was. Like, obviously, there are some days that are really horrible where you question your entire existence. But most days, I would average between, like, 30 to $50 an hour. That's... <laughs> <laughs> fine by me but it was like per year because it was salaried but also those were no shade some terrible customers oh my god i think it was i don't even know anyway it just i remember ending, i ended up working late and not even you know being able to claim the extra hours is just what people did sometimes you work late blah 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 you know so it was just exhausting and that was a promotion like i got promoted up from the temporary job i was in i was filling a maternity position in another department in like a schizophrenia department oh, Lord. and um the time was coming close where the girl was coming back so i started looking at internal postings right and that came up and i was bilingual <clears throat> because the doctor was very french so they liked that i was bilingual <laughs> so i Bet you that was probably where the main uh, arguments and dislike came from, girl. You probably really couldn't understand or talk with her all that much. And so I talked to the doctor of pure French, you know, I never talked to her in English, really. I don't um, I guess I just, you know, she didn't think I was good enough. I know that's the real reason. We just didn't get along. And we, we, we butted heads a lot. So, 
Yeah, that's part of my life I thought I'd tell you about that's more recent than my childhood. I mean, after that, I started YouTube and I told you guys so many things about my life, so many story times. Then I started doing lives and showing you my life day to day, being very open about everything. And now I guard some of my privacy. <laughs> I'm still pretty open about a lot of things, and I have been. Mm. I never learn. True. Anyway, I guess that's it. That was so good. Yeah, I was so hungry. I bet. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. That's all I have to talk about. And I have nothing else to eat. I'm sure you'll find something. I don't even, I feel satisfied, but not stuffed. I'm, I'm definitely a bottomless pit. I gotta watch for that. <sighs> I don't know how sub, Substop gets away with being pretty much an exact replica of subway without like how is it legal because <laughs> there's, there's taking well different country different laws girl i mean it's an american company so i don't necessarily un know how the logistics of that work but like is is there even subway there if there was subway there in kuwait then maybe it would be an issue but there's not so i mean you should see what's going on in russia like they're having to shut down the McDonald's because McDonald's pulled out and it's still McDonald's food that they're serving, but it's all under like a different company title and all that. It's actually kind of comical, but he's like the ingredients are the same, but it's just not has nothing to do with Subway. I don't remember the story, but anyway, uh, all right, guys. I guess that's it for now. I had too many olives. I love olives. Yeah, that's what you had too much of, girl, was the olives. Okay. Olive is my middle name. Mary Olive. <laughs> that's funny, because you kind of look like an olive right now, not gonna lie. Alright, guys, thanks for having dinner with me. I hope it made you hungry. I hope you had something good to eat. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Good lord, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. Wow, that was exceptionally boring. My god. Anyways, I'm going to get this edited and scheduled and blah, blah, blah. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, you guys. Especially if you stuck around this long, because, lord, that was a tough one. That really was. I, I'm sorry I spoke ill of the... 10 to 12 minute ones foodie please go back to that no more of this 30 minute shit oh my god let me know your thoughts down in the comments like and subscribe become a channel member and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care